Hello, my name is Kark82, and welcome back to my Greg Tech New Horizon series. This is Greg Tech, right? Yes, it is my Greg Tech <laughs> series. I made it about one day before I screwed up the Project Ozone introduction. It's kind of becoming a bit of a, a joke at this point, but I swear I'm not doing it on purpose. Uh, saying Greg Tech New Horizons for the past year is turning into a pretty big uh, habit. I'm trying to break <laughs> and I'm not doing so well at it so far but uh, last episode we left off with trying to craft up the the um oh my goodness what am I trying to say the motor the UV component and it wasn't working and I looked at the the connector and it didn't show any of the things and I forgot that is because the hollow thing once you hover over them you don't see what's in them anymore and I didn't realize that has actually been changed I don't know if this is a config or something but uh, you actually have to craft up the these hollow glasses to see what is in the, the inventory now so I figured why not let's craft that up and it looks like it says you can put this in the Tinker's mascot. Is that that? I don't remember. There. Apparently it goes in there. I don't know if that is actually the place it's supposed to go. Yeah, all right, so it goes in there. It's like a, that's definitely not a mascot, is that? Oh, well. But there we can see that. So if we, yeah, this is definitely um not showing the the data sticks in there so let's turn this back on and let's see it looks like it's not doing that oh there it goes again so i don't know i don't remember seeing it do that before so i don't know let's take a look if oh Wow, I missed that one. All right, they are in there. Did... It does... A... Oh, there's lubricants in... Okay, is that what's causing that screw up? I don't know how that... I remember putting that lubricant in there. Let's see if that... Maybe that will change it. No. All right, it definitely does feel like something is not working here. Everything is in there. Yep, the whole thing is in there. Let's just double check to make sure the motor for the UV tier is in here. Electric motor, UV. Maybe put it back in, see if that maybe does something. Just kind of doing a bit of testing here. Seeing if we can get this to work. It does look like it's connected though. Hmm. Let me do a double check on this, make sure everything is correct. I I mean, I'm pretty sure that's, that is everything, right? Yep. I mean, two, two, four, four, sixteen, two, four, four, sixteen. Then there's six of those, I think, isn't there? Yep. And then two of those. Yep. Ah, that was wrong. This isn't supposed to be that. These got messed up. Is that what's causing it? Yeah, that, okay. So I think that's what's causing it. All right. So it doesn't look like the data band is bugged. So it looks like my fluids got screwed up. All right, so that looks like the issue. Okay, so this needs to go back in there. Um, yeah, I guess, how do I want to do this? I 
kind of just need to do this. Yeah. Figure that out. All right. So maybe. Maybe this was from my testing. I don't remember doing it. It's been a couple days since I was set up the. I was doing testing between the couple things. So I may have screwed that up. I don't remember. I just want to make sure this is working. So we got the lubricant. Soldering alloy. Yeah. Let's just do those manually then. So soldering alloy, Quadria, or are you Nicodria? Ooh, I'm short on that. All right, let's see if this works. Is this gonna finally work? All right, there we go, it's working. All right, so the whole issue before was actually a couple things here. The fluids got messed up, which uh, that was probably my fault. And the other thing was I had forgotten the hot, that hollow thing had been disabled unless you were wearing the hollow glasses. So I was looking at that thinking the, the data bank wasn't actually working. So I apologize for thinking this was bugged. That is definitely not the case, but uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to record that while I was, or I wanted to do this while I was recording, see if we could figure that out. But uh, all right, let me get back to kind of sorting everything out. Um, that, um, that uh, getting the motor to actually work uh, did the, uh, showed that we can do the, the bigger recipe. So that is awesome. Um, good to know. And I think I'll probably replace all these. I could just get rid of all these. I don't need them anymore because we can now do the, the bigger recipes for AE, which is so awesome. This is absolutely cool. Um, and for the record, this is just like an add-on to Greg Tech New Horizons that is doing the 16 slot pr processing patterns and the big interfaces. That is not a normal thing for AE. It's not coming to like... Uh, new versions of Minecraft that is specifically for Greg Tech New Horizons, in case you were wondering. Um, but yeah, let me cut here and we'll come back. All right, I am kind of finishing up the assembly lines here, at least for all the components. I figured I would record here while I am putting the pattern capacity card in. I'm guessing this is what opens up, but I actually don't know. Yeah, I didn't think that was anything uh <laughs> super crazy but uh yeah that is pretty awesome i wish this would have been in the entire time but uh yeah i'm pretty happy with that but a cut out on so many different channels i mean especially over in my uh or like the extruder and stuff is there's so many different recipes um yeah so what i've done is we can see i have done the uv and the uhv since i only have three of these i actually don't know how many more we're going to be crafting up to be honest of the the uhv components oh, there we go yeah i actually don't know how many more of these we're going to be crafting up. i think i'm using them for like the superconductor and um the energy hatches but like i said i don't I really don't know how much more I'm going to be crafting those up. So I just decided to throw those on the, like the UV assembler instead of crafting a whole another assembler for that. I didn't think that was uh, necessary. It's actually pretty easy. I'm just basically copying stuff over and then just replacing everything. It's almost like a one-to-one. -one. Well, the motor isn't because there's a lot more. Like this one has 13. Um, but the pumps are basically, like, all the other components are basically, like, a one-for-one. -one. You just switch out the, uh, like, the materials for the different tiers. So it's actually really easy uh, to do that. Um, oh, I just noticed that. Oh, that's right. Because this is longer than those. The This thing didn't work. Just add these. Yep, there we go. Nice. All right. So, what else do we want to do? I want to craft. I'm thinking 
I'm thinking three more assembly lines, but I'm basically only going to do like one for this, one for the bioprocessing, because these take so long. Or mainframe, I can just leave this over here. I don't need to do anything with that. And then maybe one for the different batteries. Like all these I can just leave. Hatches, dynamos, I don't need to create anything new with that. Uh, field generators, we'll just leave those. Yeah, so what I'm thinking is, yeah, an assembly line for each of these and and then one for all the batteries. So like the Lapitronic, that one and this one, right? This requires, yeah. That's what I am thinking. I mean, I could get rid of all these interfaces, but I don't even feel like touching those all. <laughs> Maybe I'll break them down a little bit, but... Uh, this I can't move, because the thing is set up for this chest. So... Um, do I need to... I can't remember. Is this... No. E2... What's the name of this bioprocessing unit? Yeah, these don't need the recipe to... I think the... Remember. Yeah, so this recipe I can... I need to fix. I think I need to fix most of those, don't I? No, oh, I never... Dang it. I never learned that. I never dropped it. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's relatively easy, though, because I'm thinking the assembly line takes a little while to craft up, but if I only have, like, one recipe to put on it, I'm going to go pretty quick. All right, uh, yeah, let me finish this up. I guess so we're going to have six assembly lines in here, I think. Possibly more if I decide to split these off, but I highly doubt it. So, yeah, I guess let me just finish that up, and we'll be right back. All right, I have gone and had and finished all the things that I think I want to do so far. I did the three three batteries on here because I figured there's, I mean, it's not going to be getting used that much. So things aren't going to be waiting for that. And then we did the, that one there and then that one there so i think i'm pretty well set up here with the components so far um there's a couple things like these field gens that get used in the batteries but i think we're just going to leave them over here and kind of see what happens i haven't changed out the recipes or anything because i didn't feel like fixing even more stuff over here for the moment um, but hopefully I will get that kind of sorted out eventually. Well, kind of like after uh, we finish this episode, uh, maybe before the next one. But uh, yeah, I've been, like I said, for the past, I don't know how many episodes, we've been kind of working towards uh, all the automation, getting everything kind of set up to do the ultimate batteries. And we're going to need eight of those or eight of these energy clusters for the ultimate battery. So I've been kind of, you know, uh, doing this over and over again, kind of seeing what we're kind of looking at, um, kind of the amounts we're looking at for the ultimate battery. And as we can see, I'm actually like almost everything here. I'm still running a bit low on the indium. That should be replicating, but it is quite slow, unfortunately. Yeah, it's still running though. Um, I did turn off the ruthenium. This one's ruthenium because we actually have 14,000, I think, and we're producing it over in our platinum line. Um, I was basically using this to help out because we needed, I don't know, 12,000 of it or something like that. Um, and we had the gallium. And, um, so that's just going to take a little while to... Uh, to fill up 
uh, the Indian. But I think uh, it's that and like Indium and what was it? I need still need some barite. I got a bunch of it and then I've used a whole bunch of it to crafting stuff up. Ooh, phosphate. Why are ooh, okay, what's going on there? I feel like something is going on. Phosphate. Yep, that's going. How am I burning through? Okay, so that's an issue. <laughs> Why is that all going on here? Did I remove that? If that has been changed, I'm going to be really annoyed with that recipe. I don't even see it. Hold on a second. And changed. So that's a thing. It's not the end of the world, but that has definitely been changed. I did not know that was a change. Um, we'll see. But yeah, we've been actually running out of that. I can't remember what the other one was. It was a thermal centrifuge recipe and I, yeah, I actually don't know. I know it was, pretty good and it probably should have been nerfed but i mean yeah let's see what are we looking at i mean we're getting like a whole bunch of it i don't know we'll see i don't think i'm going to be going through more than we're producing here this should be going in there Dang tongue state stuff. Just clogs everything up. Actually, I should make sure that is. Yeah, that's done. I'm just voiding all tongue state basically at this point. All right, I think we're good on that. Well, good thing I noticed that. And uh, yeah, that appetite recipe it changed. It's no longer a thermal centrifuge recipe. I think it gave you like centrifuge thermal and then you or centrifuge appetite and then you could pulverize it and get more than you probably should have. But that's not definitely not the end of the world. All right, uh, let's go back really quick. And I that kind of scared me though for a second. I thought that had been completely changed and I would have been really mad because I spent a lot of time getting those bees. Uh, platinum. I did switch out one of the I think energy module was it. Uh, yeah, the energy module, it's, uh, I switched out from the wetware assembly, which is the CPM, to the ultimate crystal computer. Um, so I switched from that one to uh, this one. Um, it's going to use more platinum, but it's a little less of the wetware circuits. And I've been kind of... I'm going to test this out and kind of see, but I have been kind of debating whether I should just do the crystal processor mainframes for the UV circuits, or should I use these? I'm kind of leaning towards these because this is going to be less uh, platinum, and platinum is one of the last things that's probably going to, I'm going to, going to need, I think. So I'm going to probably do just a bit of testing here and see which I prefer. I really wish I could do wetware for each of the things, but yeah, no. <laughs> All right, so that's phosphates. Yeah, we need barite or trinium. We're a bit low on. Ooh, and these raw crystal chips. I forgot about that. I'm gonna have to set up. Why don't we go ahead and set that up? Let's 
right. Um, because this just isn't fast enough. I need a new autoclave. Yeah, uh, do I have an autoclave down here? What the heck is it called? I think it's a pressure cooker as an autoclave. I don't remember what the heck that was doing on this, but. All right, that's the, uh, that's these. Yeah, that's not gonna work. And all right, how many pet we have? Actually, I can probably throw it back here. Yeah, let me craft up an autoclave, and I'm gonna do basically the same setup, just speed it up. That I have up here. Yeah, because this actually is this you. Yeah, because this is 75 seconds per, per thing. This is LUV, right? Yeah, LUV. I just got to craft that autoclave up. Autoclaves are really easy. I can... What is it? Auto pressure cooker, yeah. Yeah, it's just a pump and like couple circuits all right so let me get that crafted up i think actually be yeah let me do that i want to get that going yeah i'm gonna do that and then uh basically do the exact same setup i think i may just do a quantum chest though not there i'm never gonna have 120 million of these but eh, why not yeah, all right, so we'll be back in a second. All right, there we, we are back, and I just did the pressure cooker and uh, set up basically the exact same setup we had up top, just with some faster machines. And if we look, 18 seconds, as opposed to what was it, 75 seconds? Uh, just need to do that on a output. Yeah, there we go. So that'll just continue going. I, fortunately, I don't have the europium. Like, that's not auto crafting, so it's not going to keep uh, doing that. I usually just. Um, I'll craft up a whole bunch of it. It's really quickly because it's like a tier one recipe, so it's actually a pretty fast. Um, I feel like that means stuff has stopped. Yeah. I need to craft up some more, more things. How many are out? No, oh, just the one. I had six running. Yeah, I need to craft up some more rotors. Um, but usually we're right around staying even, but this has gone up quite a bit since the last time I checked. Um, but yeah, I just kind of like pause the, the tin plasma that we're producing, and then I'll just do like, I don't know, 10,000 things of europium. It's actually pretty quick. I should have a, a dedicated fusion reactor for it, but uh, I do not. Actually, just kind of curious. Superconducting. I guess it would be coil. We'd need 32 of these. Uh, so what is that, 32? What's 32 by 32? Do quick math here. Is that 54? No. 1,012. And we need one for the thing. So we actually need 33. 33 times, I'm just kind of curious what we'd be looking at if we did all. Oop, not that. We did all those with UV wires. What are we looking at? Yeah, it's a lot of americium. That's not bad though for like a fusion reactor. Really, if we're thinking about it, that's actually not bad. Fifty pumps, as opposed to what is what? No, yeah, I just realized if I do the superconducting ones, that's a lot of those. Anyway, just kind of random little. A little distracted there, but uh, Nequadria. Don't I have a thing for... 
thought I had a recipe to turn it into small piles. Oh, I probably didn't have enough Nequadria. That's probably what it was. All right. And I believe the update actually broke <laughs> the Molten and Rich Nequadria. I don't think you can... It, it's no longer pumpable. So, unfortunately, that is... Yeah. Well, eventually, once we turn all that stuff in, which will be probably millions of ingots, but uh, that'll eventually... We won't be getting that... But all right, so now that I have kind of gone off on a tangent here, I think I'm going to start crafting up these instead of waiting for all eight of them. I've just, like I said, I've been kind of checking out and seeing what needs to be done and improved. Um, so pretty much we got that. That I got to figure out. Deep iron. That's being produced. Platinum, I know that is a bit of an issue at the moment. Barite. But everything else, and we just did the, yeah. What just happened there? Hmm. That may be a bit of an issue now that I'm looking at that. Um... That is definitely a bit of an, a nerf. Um, I don't think I'm using it more than, is this bacterial vat like using it more? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think we're using more than we're producing. Ooh, why did these turn off? Out of something. What am I out of? Or did I run out? Right, that was turned off, and I don't know why that's turned off. Meat extract. Guard. Did they just run out of power somehow, or? No oh, salts. We're good. I really hope. Man, what are they out of? Oh, talic acid. Yep, I have that turned off. All right. Phosphorus. I should have 10,000. I don't know why that was... It should have been the 10,000. It's five phosphorus or phosphate to one. That I feel is a bit weird, that recipe. Because, yeah, it says we have it here, but why is that? Why is that like, hmm. That I'm going to have to check out. Um... In the meantime, though, can we craft one of these? Because I'm just going to start doing them one at a time, I think. That is... That's weird. That's definitely weird, right? Because I have a... Re I should have a recipe for that. I'm producing phosphorus right there. Hold on one second. Did I do something? Did something get messed up here? Okay, is that weird, right? That's kind of weird. Pull that out. Put it back in. It's obviously crafting up phosphorus. I have a recipe for it. All right, well, there we go. It Apparently, it's fixed itself. Has it fixed itself? Yeah. All right. But it looks like one of these things is going to cost 20, almost 20,000 platinum. But that's, that's it. Except that I'm just noticing that. All right. I'm going to have to upgrade. Well, first of all, I'm going to have to, let's see. 
How much gold do we have? 120,000 gold. Uh, how much did the energy cluster? How much gold does it need? 11,000. All right. Um, I'm going to do... We're still getting nuggets, right? That turn off. Did we run out of lava? All right. That's another thing. We might have run out of lava. Nope. Why aren't you running? What's going on here? Why is everything not working? Oh, did this recipe change as well? Oh man, that just broke all that for me. That recipe has been completely nerfed. And this is kind of why I didn't want to upgrade <laughs> or update. That is completely worthless now. All right, um, I'm going to need a few minutes here to kind of gather my thoughts here because that just completely nerfed my copper, my gold, my silver, my tantalum, all that stuff. Completely nerfed. Um, yeah, let me figure out what I want to do here and we'll be right back. All right, so I'm going to put the gold dust in there and we're going to convert some of it to platinum, but yeah, I, I pretty much, I'm broken now. I can't, all the nerfs to this pack is just too much. Congratulations, Greg Tech New Horizons, you have finally broken me with the uh, the nerfs. I've been going along with stride, but yep, this has finally broken me. <laughs> You can do pohoho lava and you can get copper, tin, and silver, but gold has been completely removed from that. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I almost want to just revert back to an older save, to be honest. That is just the gold nerf because the platinum that's required, the hundreds of thousands of platinum that I'm going to need, it just, yeah, that basically just. That was basically the end. I can't, I can't do that. I'm not going to quit the pack, but I'm not going to update anymore. I'm done with it, pretty much. We're going to get all this stuff crafted up, and that will be it for the pack. So it has finally broken me, the nerf after nerf after nerf of this, this mod pack. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get some more platinum, and I'm going to get some of these energy clusters getting crafted up. And uh, I will I just need... The platinum it's not going to take too long it's pretty quick in that um but i'm going to get this going and i'm going to check out all my assembly lines make sure they're all working correctly everything is running i'm a little worried about the amount of amps that we're pulling actually i need to kind of work that out because if like all of a sudden all these are running at the same time what would that be Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's like nine whole amps just by itself in there. Uh, all right, so I gotta, gotta take a look at that. I'm gonna write this down so I don't forget. Uh, where is my... Write it down right here. Um, energy, or I'm gonna write you, partake assembly lines and energy cluster so i'm gonna get this going and yeah uh, next episode we'll come back and we'll see if everything how everything works is it fast is it slow what do i need to improve stuff like that and we're also still uh working on the bacterial stuff i did hear this had been buffed so we'll take a look at that i think it goes up to like a thousand times efficiency unfortunately it is these that are the backlog it's actually not the bacterial that um, but yeah, we'll come back next episode and check that out. But anyway, that's going to be it for today. So thanks for watching and have a good one.